Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. This video is all about Ketu transit in Libra for Pisces ascendant as per Vedic astrology. So you all know that Rahu got transited into Aries zodiac sign and Ketu got transited into Libra zodiac sign on 12th April 2022 and they'll be into that specific zodiac signs until 23rd October 2023. So generally Rahu Ketu transit happens for one and a half year. So every one and a half year they'll be moving to a different zodiac sign. So this video is all about for the Pisces ascendant. Let's see the prediction. All right, so Ketu transit is happening in the sixth house for Pisces ascendant. So sixth house talks about health, enemies, obstacles, efforts, challenges, deaths, litigation, sorrows and worries, army, servants, misfortunes, ill, Ill, fame, Ill fame, oaths and dishonor. So all the bad stuff that you're gonna be facing in this life can be seen from the sixth house. So how stronger is your sixth house? You will you'll be having better control on your enemies. You'll be having um, better strategies to overcome your obstacles. You'll be having very good plans in order to overcome your challenges. You'll be able to um, carry all your, your debts and also you'll be able to win over the litigation issues. So all these things generally happens if at all you have a strong sixth house and the planet supporting the sixth house should be stronger as well. But Ketu transit into sixth house becomes very positive, especially Rahu Ketu being a malefic planet and uh, sixth house being a malefic oh, that is nothing but Upachaya house. It really works so well, actually. And this placement is really blessing for the Pisces ascendant people because it is happening in the sixth house. So placement of Ketu brings very good name and fame, free from sickness and worry, successful in most heated debates and discussions. So this is the very good time period for you to win over your enemies in, in terms of Know, making the strategies in order to overcome the obstacles and also making the plans to be know the challenges this is a really good time period and also you'll be very dear to relatives you'll be having large hearted you'll be recognized as a good hearted person and also you'll be skilled reputed and enjoys honor and also fame through knowledge and wisdom and there'll be financial gains gains and also higher official support during this point of time so basically sixth house also talks about relatives sixth house also talks about litigation those also talks about your debts. So you'll be making very, very good amount of money so that you can able to clear your debts. Okay. And there'll be danger from the insects, reptiles, or animals, unfaithful servants. Particularly if Ketu is very bad, is sitting in a very bad scene in your natal chart, it indicates tendency towards sensual life. Only favorable circumstances has to power to control your senses. Let me tell you at any given point of time, any planet cannot be positive. Any planet cannot be completely negative. It's always the mixture of positive and negative. You just need to come into a conclusion that uh, depending upon the planetary strength, your prediction will be varied. All right. So thank you so much for watching this video. Oh, before I conclude this video, there's one more point I would like to tell you. Ketu transit makes you wealthy, troubled by enemies and also pleasure of every kind. This makes you strong and brave and also good health. It gives you good health and rich with conveyance, jewelry, wealth and fortune. So Ketu being a spiritual planet, people think that it may not give you the money. Let me tell you, Ketu also can be able to give you the money. And also Ketu can also um, help you to overcome the obstacles and challenges. Okay, because Ketu is a planet of thinking out of the box. So in this, this is the time period where in which you have to exhibit your creativity and innovation so that you can able to come out of various challenges and can and get success in your endeavors. Okay, but however, you need to watch out your servants during this point of time, you might get undergoing some kind of friction or trouble by your, uh, um, you know, unfaithful servants. So you got to be very careful and watchful in this point of time into that specific aspect. And also there will be some kind of worries with regards to uh, with regards to your, uh, you know, see, uh, some some sort of diseases and all because sixth house also talks about diseases. So K2 might provide some kind of diseases and also there'll be some sort of fear and confusion that can be eradicated by doing some sort of meditation or some charity. All right. So thank you so much for watching this video. And in order to understand plant K2 in your birth chart, you need to know the strength of your natal chart. You need to know the strength of the planets in your natal chart at what zodiac sign those planets are sitting. What are the aspects that planets are receiving? Which ascendant that you belong to? Which house is that planet Ketu is sitting? So all those things has to be thoroughly analyzed in order to come to a conclusion whether your specific planet which we're talking about here is Ketu is strong or weaker in your birth chart. So once that is ruled out, then you can able to experiment via Nadi transits and this prediction will be applicable for you. Okay. 
So thank you so much for watching this video. Please book for an astrological consultation without fail. The link is mentioned in the description section. Do book for an astrological consultation. Once I get a consultation order, I'll be able to help you with the complete analysis pertaining to your individual birth chart. And I'll be able to create a spot analysis, which is strength, weaknesses, opportunities, and best by checking your own birth chart. I can provide you the detailed analysis pertaining to your individual birth chart and also the predictions will be given. I have a success track record of serving to the clients across the globe. So you can able to, uh, you can able to get the complete prediction analysis a lot of astrologers do the consultations, but at the same time, they will not be able to check thoroughly. They will not be able to check in the most utmost detailed manner. Okay. Reason why our prices are a little competitive when you compare with uh, other astrology um, academies or companies, because we take only limited consultations because we want the people who are very serious about astrological predictions should come to us. Okay. So we want to work with such people. So that is the main reason and also the based on the time, effort and energy and expertise that we need to utilize not to see your chart. So that is where we are charging for as a consultation services. Okay. So thank you so much for watching, be, uh, watching this video. Please book for an astrological consultation and I'll see you in the consultation. Bye for now. Please like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel and do say your family and friends. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.